Okay, I've started my virtual server and in this exercise I'm going to show you how to set up a group policy object. For the final you'll be creating two organizational units. You'll be setting up a policy for each organizational unit. One policy will be very restrictive, the other policy will be less restrictive. So here's how you go to get started. You go down to Start, All Programs, Administrative Tools, group policy management. This is the graphical utility you use to manage your policies. Not create them, not edit them, but to manage them. In this case you see I've created a policy for the Chicago group. I'm going to delete that. I had a policy for peons. I'm going to delete that. In this case I'm just deleting the links. The actual policies still exist down here under group policy objects. That allows you to create one policy and apply it to multiple domains or multiple organizational units within the domain. So in this case I'm going to delete the Chicago policy and I'm going to delete the PN policy. Yes. So there we have it. There's our default domain policy. If you want to see what your settings are on any policy, in the right window pane, you click on the Settings tab. It'll create a summary report. Here you can see that I have both computer policies and user policies set up. In this case, under Windows Security Settings, these are all your password policies. You want to see. In this case, passwords, uh, 24 passwords will be remembered. Uh, they have to be a minimum of seven characters. Uh, lockout duration is three minutes. You get three invalid attempts, and then the reset clock is set for three minutes. Right, that's the default domain policy. Go down to uh, the user settings, and you'll see that the user setting, if I can get down to it here, prevent access to the command prompt is enabled. So in this case I changed that so that the users cannot get to the command prompt. So I want to make a change. I want my default policy to enable command prompt usage and I'm going to restrict that in a organizational unit policy. So go back and select my default domain policy. Now I want to right click on it and I want to edit that policy. And you'll see a second utility is now opened up. Group Policy Management Editor. Two different utilities. In the editor you'll see now we have the two categories of policies, the computer policies and user policies. And if I look back on to the management, this was an administrative templates under the user category, user administrative templates system policy. So I'm going to go under user administrative templates system and I'll change my screen here and you'll see that prevent access to the command prompt is enabled. I'll just double click that and I want to change it back to not configured. So I've made a change to that policy. I exit, go back to the management screen and refresh and you'll see now that there are no administrative template settings. Now I want to create a new policy. I want to create a policy for the organizational unit peons. I select peons, I right click, create a group policy object in this domain and link it here. I'm going to call it the peons policy. All right, so there it is. Completely blank, no settings at all. But you'll also notice this is just a shortcut link. The actual policy exists down here. Now I can click on either one, right click on either one and go to edit. It opens up the editor and I can make the changes from either location. This is just a shortcut. 
So I'm in the peons. They're obviously going to need a more restrictive policy. Let me get into administrative templates here and control panel. And I want to prohibit access to the control panel entirely. I don't want them messing around at all. All right. So I double click on it. I choose enabled. It's locked out. Desktop. Let's see here. I'm going to. What do we want to do? Uh, remove my. Hide the network locations. Yeah, we don't need them browsing the network. Don't save settings at exit. Yeah, if they mess around with their uh, screen colors and themes and stuff like that, I want it to all go away when they log off. Alright, so there's a restrictive setting. Now I'm going to go into the system. And I don't want them to get to uh, the command prompt. Prevent access to the command prompt. And I don't want them to be able to run any command prompt scripts. All right. And now I want them to run only a specified Windows application. All right. I want to enable this policy. I want to add a specific application. In this case, it's going to be wordpad.exe. Okay, and there I've saved that policy. And just by, you'll notice there is no save. You just make a change, it's done. It, the policy is in there. So I go back to peons, I hit refresh, and you'll see now that it has made all these changes. Control panel, don't save settings, hide network locations, and it's being applied to the PN's organizational unit. In the next video, I'm going to log on to my XP workstation as a user from each domain, and we'll verify that these policy changes have taken effect.